the tension member is fastened together using two bolts. Okay, keep in mind this, you have two bolts, one on each side of the members as on each bolt has a diameter of 0.3 inch determine the maximum maximum load P that can be applied to the member if the allowable shear stress for the bolts is 12 KSI and the allowable average normal stress is 20 KSI okay so here's the figure and here's my free body diagram for it so let's take a, a segment to the right of this figure so you given that this angle is 60 degree so i have the force p uh, horizontally to the left and let's determine some unknowns here so parallel to this so this p force can be broken down into x and y components forces uh, why component force gives you the normal force because it's perpendicular to the plane and here's your plane the x component is your shear force because it's per is parallel to the plane okay so you have a shear force v in x direction normal force and in the y direction okay so what i did was i took the uh, summation about x axis first so I have negative phi minus p times p times uh, psi thirty. Okay. So this is actually negative psi here. Then my v equals negative p psi thirty or p equals negative two v. Okay. Now uh, let's do the summation about the y-axis. So I have positive n plus positive p cosine 30 because it's pointing upward or to the right or upward to the left or upward and set that equals zero then solve for n I got negative p cosine 30 or p equals negative 1.1547 newtons uh, not newtons but n this represents the normal force okay so be careful all right so you told that the allowable normal stress is 20 ksi so i have normal stress equal normal force divided by the area normal force is negative p over cosine 30 divided by uh the area which is pi over 4 times 0 0.3 squared and remember that i said i told you earlier to keep in mind that you have two bolts so you have two shears that's why I multiply by 2 here for the area, okay? And set that equal to 20,000. Then I found out that P is equal to... Let me double check again to make sure that everything is correct. Okay, so of course I will get a negative P force. Alright, now, doing the same thing. So you are given the shear stress equal to V over the shear force divided by the area what is the shear force? the shear force is negative P psi 30 okay and what is the area? area is the same as the area for the normal stress so again pi over 4 times 0 0.3 squared and don't forget to multiply by 2 because you have two bolts set that equal to 12,000 then solve for P you will get neg negative 3392.9 pounds so the p is negative size so that means that it just goes into the opposite direction okay so if if this p pointing to the left this negative side indicate that it's pointing to the right but if if you require to find the um, but it if, if it's default that the p is the p force is pointing to the left then the process uh, of what you have done is just the opposite way so you have up here you have positive p side 30 okay and then over here you have a uh, positive all these positive okay I just switch the negative side all right now let's compare so you have two p values one for the normal stress and one for the shear stress so the normal stress gives uh, 3264 pounds 
she uh, stress give the p value of 3392 pounds so this one is regular this one so your maximum p is 3264 pounds if i round it up because it reached this force in in it will fail the normal the normal stress and there's no way it can reach this stress because it's already failed okay of that that's it if you find the video is helpful feel free to give it a like share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. And I'll see you next time.